So in this video, we're going to be making this cool button hover effect right over here. I was inspired to make this and I wanted to make sure that it was functional across the elemental controls and it can be for any button shape. So over here, we've got this very rounded one. If we go down, we've got different types of coloring. So it works on gradients, solid colors, standard buttons, as well as something a bit more crazy over here if you wanted to change the whole hovering color as well. It doesn't matter, so all the elemental different controls work perfect with this hover effect. And we're gonna build this out in this tutorial. For those of you who just wanna download the complete template yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video that's gonna take you to this page on my website. Over here, you just go and download it. Once you've downloaded it, you're gonna have the zip file. All you have to do is extract it. And this file over here, the JSON file, this is the, gonna be the template file that you, you can go and import. So in the back end of your WordPress website, once you've loaded up Elementor Page Builder, all you do is click on this Add Templates button. In the library over here, we say Import Template. And then this file, we drag it across here into this window, we let go. And then we say continue. So the one that you'll be looking for is this custom button hover effect. We just say insert, apply, and you'll have the buttons over here that you can go and customize. If you click on the button and you go to advanced, you can go to the custom CSS and you can change how these colors are. So right on the top of the code here, you can see that the left gradient and the right gradient, these are the ones you can change. So you can see that the left gradient is the purple, and the right more blue. So if the right one you want it to be yellow and the left one you wanted it to be red, just make sure that there's no hash or anything. And then if you go over, you can see how it goes and change the color. So you can really go and customize whatever colors that you want. And then the rest of the button settings work just the same. So if you go to the style and if you wanted to make this a bit more straight, you can go to the border radius and you can go down to whatever you want. And obviously the button's still going to work just like normal. And now for the rest of you that wanna build this yourselves, this is very easy to do, so let's just get started. So let me just delete all this. So to build this is very simple. So we're gonna go and start off with our container that we're gonna house the button. This one over here, I was gonna say full width. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to be here for the tutorial. Um, the width I'm gonna keep 100. The min height I'm gonna to change to the H and say 100. And then I'm gonna put the button widget right over here. So I'm gonna click plus. I'm gonna go look for the button, drag it across into here and let go. So let me put this button right here in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna click on the container. I'm just gonna say justify content into the center. So now you can see it real nice. Now for the settings of this button, you can change the text to whatever you want. I'm just gonna say read more. Then obviously you put the link like normal. Under the style, we can choose whatever colors you want. If it's gonna be a classic color or a gradient, it's completely up to you. So for me in this example, I'm just gonna make it as a gradient. And then the top color, I'm going to say more of a yellow. And then the second color, I'm going to put as more of an orange. The top, I'm just gonna say radial. Now again, it doesn't matter what the design is. This is the design that I'm going for in this tutorial and then the border radius what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this maybe at a 20 just like that now you can also change the hover colors so if you want to change the text color to say a black or something then you can go right ahead it's totally up to you so you can see how it actually does that now in order to make that whole effect work in the description of this video there's going to be a link that's going to take you to the reference page on my website. So once you click the link, it's gonna take you to this page. We just scroll down and here's all the code that you need. We just say copy. We come here into the button, make sure we're on that. We go to advanced, go to custom CSS, and we paste it right over there. So now if I hover, you can already see that it's working pretty well. Now over here, I had to put the width and height hard coded. The only thing I couldn't use within the settings of the button itself. I read the try, but I had to actually hard code the width and the height over here. So the change is very easy. So this button width can say that this is a, say 160 pixels, and then the height, we can put this down to a 40. And you can see that no matter what the button shape is, the whole effect will just conform to the button. Now, again, if you wanted to change the colors, let's say the bottom, the right one, you want it to be red, just make sure that you don't have the hash or you can put in whatever hex code that you want. And this left one, I can say something like blue as an example, it doesn't matter. Now, if we preview this button properly, you can see that it's doing that whole sort of effect over there. And again, it doesn't matter the shape or whatever styling. So if I go down to the border radius and I put this just as zero, so it's a very square button, you can see that it just works. If you want this effect, all the buttons across your whole website, 
If you go and take this code, and in the dashboard of your WordPress website, you head over to Elemental, and you say Custom Code. Here we can say Add New. For the title, we'll say Custom Button, so that you know that this is for the buttons. So now we have the name, we're gonna go and paste all that code right over here. And before we go and click Publish, we go right up to the first line, to the very first dot, we click Enter. We go back to the first line, and we have to say that this is a style. So we say Style, we'll close the bracket. And then the second part, all we have to do is cut it, go all the way down to the bottom of the page, and paste it on a new line. There we say Publish. The condition is across the entire site. So save and close. And so back in the element page builder, under the custom CSS, we can actually take this out of the button because we don't need it anymore. And it'll affect all the buttons across the website. So if we go click publish, and before our preview, you can see that the button isn't working over here because that custom thing hasn't loaded in this page builder. But if I go and preview, here you can see that the button's here. And if I load it up, you can see that now that any button that I put into my website it's all gonna have the same customized effect. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.